Hi everyone. Welcome back to Nelson Math Chapter 7, Section 3, Communicating About Triangles. We're going to do a bit more discovering today about the properties of triangles that we've been doing over the past couple of days. So one thing that I would like to point out to you, doesn't matter which triangle you take, and we'll do this for each one of these. The first thing I want to point out is that if you take any two triangle lengths, those two triangle lengths, when added, must be bigger than the third length. In other words, if you find the sum of any two lengths in a triangle of their sides, it must be longer than the third side. So let's take a look. This side here is 5 centimeters. This side is 5 centimeters. We add them to 10. 10 is bigger than 1. Let's try the 5 and the 1. So the sum of these two sides is 6 centimeters, which is longer than 5. Let's see if it works for all of these triangles. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 is more than 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 is more than 4. So it works for this triangle too. Let's try this one. 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 is bigger than 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 is bigger than 6. The reason I'm pointing this out to you is some triangles do not exist. Let me give you an example. It would be completely impossible for you to make a triangle, for example, that had the following measurements. A side of 1 centimeter, one side of 1 centimeter, and a side of 5 centimeters. This triangle would never close. Say, for example, we took a line and this is 5 centimeters. We're just going to eyeball it. If this is 5 centimeters, and then we took two other lines and I made that 1 centimeter, and I made another line of 1 centimeter, this triangle would not close. This line here would come to about here, and this line here would come to about here. The triangle would not close. It would stop there and there. It would not be a complete triangle. It wouldn't even reach to two full straight lines. So I'm pointing this out to you so there's an easy way of you to see whether or not a triangle actually exists. So we don't need that anymore. We'll get rid of this as well. The next thing I would like to point out to you is how you can label the side lengths if you only knew the angles. So in this case, you notice that in this triangle at the bottom, we have two side lengths of five centimeters on the sides and one side length of six centimeters. The angles opposite the five centimeter side lengths are exactly the same. Every triangle is like that. If two sides are the same length, the opposite sides, rather the opposite angles, must be the same angle. The third side would then be opposite the third angle. Let's see if that's the case for all of them. So here we have a side length of 4, and its opposite angle is 68. Here we have a side length of 4 centimeters, and its opposite angle is once again 68. So it works for this one as well. And how about this one? Here we have side length of 5, opposite angle is 84. Here we have side length of 5, opposite angle is 84. So it works for this one too. In this case, in all triangles as a matter of fact, but it's very clear in this one, the angle that's smallest is always opposite the smallest side. The angle that is biggest is always opposite the longest side. So if you made a bunch of triangles and you measured all three angles and all three side lengths, the biggest side length or the longest side length would be opposite the biggest angle. The shortest side length would be opposite the shortest angle. And then the middle angle would be opposite the middle side length. Those are, are some properties that we've already been working on. And lastly, what we've been sp speaking about a little bit as an introduction, all three angles inside a triangle must have a sum of 100 
80 degrees. Let's check that now. 84 plus 84 is 168. 168 plus 10 plus 2 is 178 plus 2 is 180. So it works for that one. Let's try this one. 68 plus 68 is 176. 170, sorry, 126. So one, uh, rather 136. I'll get it right eventually. 136 degrees plus 44 is 180. Let's try this one. 53 plus 53 is 106. 106 plus 74 is 180. So those are the different properties of triangles that we are learning for this unit. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.